All right, superhero, stepdad back again. I'm going to show you a couple cards that I have that I'm not sure if I want to crack them and send them back to PSA or what I'm going to do. So there's only, uh, there's like eight cards here, I believe. So let's take a look. We'll start with these four. I got these back in a recent submission for Bo Jackson's. Um, it was my fault for sending them all in. As you can see, they're sequentially numbered 502, 3, 4, and 5. They're all Bo Jackson tops rookies that came back nine. I looked, I looked over, I bought like 10 sets of these a while back because they're you know, like 50 60 bucks and um these are the four that were great and i was hoping to get like one nine and i shouldn't have sent i know i shouldn't have sent all four in because everybody says don't send in more than like two of a card especially on a big card like this i should have probably sent them in one at a time so let me know what you think uh this is card 502 if you think any of these has a shot at a 10 i mean i know psa might Pop control of this card. Um, but it, there's no surface marks on this. The corners are flawless. I mean, this was straight out of a factory sealed box. Actually, that corner up there, maybe a tiny bit of wear. But if you're like a nine is going for like, I don't know, 80 bucks or something on eBay, and a 10 is like $1,500. So, I mean, it's might as well just crack them all and send them one at a time but i don't know i don't want to just waste the money to send them and wait all that time this one i can see it looks like it's a little bit the border is heavier on the top versus the bottom this is 502 503 this one looks great um, it looks perfectly centered on the front That I think that mark there I don't think is on the card. That little black dot I think it's on the case. The back again, maybe some type of wear on the edge right there. I thought I saw something. No, that's just the white behind. Never mind. The corners look great on this one. Five oh four. good i think of the four that i just did a real quick look this is the one i think looked the best so i might send this one off first i mean they just this is 505 they all i mean they all look great so most likely i'm just gonna crack and sub them one at a time in coming orders that i send off but yeah this i picked up i don't know where i picked this up like a year or two ago before he before scott Rowland got into the hall of fame i only paid like ten dollars or something for it it's in hga i don't know what that is um hybrid grading and yeah it's worth basically nothing in this holder nobody wants it so i looked psa nines can go for upwards of a hundred dollars so i think i'm just gonna crack this out and send it in to psa it's got what nine five in edges and centering and nines in corners and surface so if it gets a psa nine i'll be happy with that i looked it over it doesn't look like it's too bad i mean maybe it gets a nine i'll be it's better than what it is in this because it's not worth anything. These are good cases, though. Solid. <laughs> this card here I picked up in... Where did I get this one? In Clearwater? Is that one of the card shows? It's Ricky Henderson's Rookie, obviously. It says 1980 Tops Burger King Rookie, and it's graded authentic. I didn't know... I wasn't aware that Ricky had a Burger King Rookie. I know they made Burger King cards from 1980. I have some of the Phillies ones on my team. But I looked and looked and researched, and I couldn't find any examples of Ricky Henderson's Burger King rookies. I, I don't think there was one, correct me if I'm wrong, but I paid 25 bucks for this, I believe it was, 20 to $20, something like that. It does have a little bit of writing on the back, of course. That's why it was cheap. Um, it's not in that great a shape. Obviously, you would get the MK qualifier. So I'm not really sure what to do with this card. Crack it out and send it to PSA. It's going to probably get like a three or four. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. And yeah, the two big ones here. I have this Ernie Banks. I just picked this up at a card show in uh, Pittsburgh recently. And this one's graded by CSG. It's the old label, 7.5. And I got it for $50. The guy had it for like 100 and 120, something like that. But I made a big deal with trading with him. And at the end, I said, would you just take 50 for the Ernie? Because we had made a large deal. And he's like, sure. 
So I picked this up and I was gonna send it off to PSA because in this label here, it's worth like $100. And I'm like, if it comes back a PSA 7.5 or a 7, it's worth, you know, closer to $200. But then I looked, I don't know if this will show up. Yeah, right there, this corner, you can see it's got like a bend. That's not the light glaring, that's like, it's like dinged right there. So pretty sure that's not going to be, I'm pretty sure PSA is gonna treat that harder. I'm not certain, but I don't think that's going to be getting a seven. So I don't think I'm gonna crack this out. I'm probably just gonna use this as trade bait at the next show that I go to. And I'm sure in, in, this, in this case here, you know, it's still worth more than double what I paid for it. So I'm just gonna trade it. Otherwise, other than that corner, and it's a little bit off-centered, but it's still in great shape, and it's a cool card, so I'm just going to trade that one. The biggest card here is this um, 67 Roberto Clemente that's in a newer modern CSG label. It's a 6.5. I got this in a trade at a store. The trade value was 200 250 that I traded for it. <sighs> if this... I'm, I'm thinking of sending this, cracking this, and sending it to PSA if it comes back. Same grade, 6.5, it goes for like 250, I wanna say. If it would come back a seven, it's around four to 450, $400. I don't think it's gonna get a seven for the fact that this edge here, as you can see, looks kind of rough. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit rough. You know, the back's pretty sharp. The centering's nice. The centering's really nice compared to some of the others. I mean, if it was just the centering and everything else, I'd be cracking it all day, but the fact that it has that, there you can kind of see it a little better. See how there's like, like a nick in that edge right there. So I, was, I looked at numerous copies of PSA 7s, 6.5s, 6s, all different grades. And my best bet is if I sent this off, it would probably get a PSA 6 because the centering is fantastic but I think I'm going to take it to my next show that I go to and see if I can trade it or sell it. Cause in this label here, it's like a $250 card, give or take. So if I can get 250 out of it in trade or something, I'll be happy. Same with this, if I get 150, I'll just trade it. You know, why bother cracking it and waiting three, four months for it to come back? So those are the cards that I have for this video today. I will have more videos soon. Thank you for watching.